Suctioning is the method of removing mucus from the lungs and the breathing tubes. A suction catheter is used to do this. It is important to know what size catheter to use and how far the catheter <laughs> should be inserted into the tracheostomy. The size of the suction catheter is worked out by multiplying the size of the tracheostomy tube by 2. For example, if your child has a size 4 tracheostomy tube, you should use a size 8 catheter. To measure how far the catheter should be inserted, put the suction catheter into a same sized tracheostomy tube. The suction catheters have measurements marked on them in centimetres. It is important to measure because suctioning should only be performed just inside the tracheostomy tube unless it is absolutely vital to suction further. If the suction catheter is too long, there is a risk of damage to the child's airways. Don't forget, the size and the length measured should be written in the child's care plan so everyone is aware. Check you are using the correct size catheter. Check the suction pressure. Your hospital will advise the correct suction pressure to use for your child. Insert the suction catheter to the correct length without applying suction. Withdraw the catheter with your thumb over the end to apply continuous suction. This should take no longer than 10 seconds. Allow time for recovery and then repeat if needed. Children with tracheostomies will have a portable suction unit, meaning it is possible to suction wherever they go.